Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Base Watches. Today, we're diving into the world of precision and style as we explore the top 5 Bulova watches for men in 2024. From timeless classics to cutting edge designs, each timepiece on this list represents the epitome of Bulova's commitment to craftsmanship and innovation. Whether you're a seasoned watch enthusiast or someone stepping into the world of horology, our guide will help you navigate through the best that Bulova has to offer. Join us on this journey of elegance, reliability, and exceptional timekeeping. Let's explore the world of Bulova watches together. The Bulova Lunar Pilot pays homage to the brand's association with space exploration, as Bulova was the chosen timepiece for astronauts during the Apollo 15 mission. The most meaningful update to the Lunar Pilot is the reduction in case size from the first version's 45 mm to a much more manageable 43.5 mm, also reducing the lug to lug from 52 mm to 50 mm. These two new models, now the same size as Scott's original chronograph, have a better feel on the wrist. The case design remains fluid, with no chamfering or beveled edges. Instead, the mid case presents as an uninterrupted, high polished form that seems to melt around its contours. Combining the slab sides with the polished finish, though, means that there's nothing to visually shrink the 43.5mm profile. Yes, it's smaller and wears better than the 45mm version, but is still a prominent piece on the wrist. The solid screw down case back helps to ensure a fifthum of water resistance and features a broad array of information. A huge tuning fork logo is joined by details about the Apollo 15 mission and a specific EVA during which Scott wore the original watch. Under the case back is Bulova's in-house high-performance quartz chronograph movement, which features a three-pronged crystal vibrating at 260 twak thee for an impressive accuracy of minus 10 slash plus 10 seconds per year. This release is going to make plenty of people very happy. Those that had been hoping for a smaller recreation of Dave Scott's Bulova chronograph will have their wishes answered and their patience rewarded by the smaller case. The Bulova Surfboard Chronograph A is a contemporary expression of the brand's commitment to combining classic design elements with modern aesthetics. To begin with, let's take a look at the Surfboard Edition's stainless steel case. It has a retro, extended shape that looks like it popped out of a time machine from the 1970s. It measures 40mm in diameter and 16.7mm thick. It's big enough to be easily readable, but it's small enough to maintain a modest wrist presence. Whether you're a man or a woman, you'll find that it's easy to wear without drawing too much attention. The case is very well constructed, and Bulova clearly put some time and effort into the design. The lugs extend smoothly from the ends of the case, without any angles or curves. This makes them look like an organic part of the case, rather than an extension. Between the lugs, you'll find a sturdy rubber strap. There are perforations near the watch case, which makes it breathable enough for most purposes. Inside of the Surfboard Edition, you'll find a quartz Miyota Caliber 6S21 chronograph movement. Yes, not automatic for this specific model, although the creamed color dial version is automatic. In conclusion, the Bulova Surfboard Chronograph A is a stylish and contemporary addition to Bulova's diverse lineup. With a well-crafted case, a vibrant and sporty dial design inspired by surf culture, a reliable quartz chronograph movement, and a nod to the brand's legacy, this timepiece captures the essence of adventure and individuality. The Bulova Wilton GMT comes in a 43mm case. It has a polished and chamfered frame while its sides and lugs are cleaned. This results in an elegant but casual look. Furthermore, with a short lug of 49.5mm and a thickness of just 12.7mm, the watch is able to wear well on my 7.5-inch wrist having a strong but not overwhelming presence. When you turn towards the dial of a Wilton GMT watch, you'll realize how Bulova really contributed to the design. The face of the dial features the imprint of the world, with the continents marked in a circular pattern. The 3D indexes are polished with flat upper surfaces, except for those at 12 and 6, which have a facet on the left and right. The watch comes with a simple black leather strap with a crocodile pattern. It measures 22 mm in the case and ends at a butterfly clasp. The star of the show here is the new movement inside. It's the Miyota 9075, which comes with features not often seen on more affordable GMTs. 
First, the 9075 has Traveler GMT functionality. This means the 24-hour hand represents a home time, while the hour hand can be moved in hour increments to line up with the local time once you've arrived at your destination. Second, the movement beats at 28,800 VB. This provides a smoother movement of the second hand and means the watch stands out in a sea of affordable GMTs beating at a lower rate. Here we have a watch that offers much while still remaining relatively affordable. From the Traveler GMT functionality to the well-designed dial, all while still staying below $1,000. Bulova kicks off the reissued Devil Diver collection with a limited edition of 666 pieces with a 41mm orange version featuring the Swiss Salida movement. This version was followed up with a number of less expensive colors including this version we have today. The movements have been downgraded to the Miyota 8 series, while the cases have been enlarged in size to 44mm, although I would have preferred this version to follow the smaller case format. At 44mm wide it feels smaller than you'd think. The bezel is set well within the edge of the case, and the lugs are very compact. Therefore, it will not burden smaller wrists. Plus, it has a lot of personality. If you're looking for the fun of Doxa or Synchron Military, but don't want to spend four figures, this beloved game is a good alternative. The case shape is very similar and uses quite a few of its own unique touches. Besides the colors, one of the main attractions of Devil Diver is the clearly implemented 3D indicators. These sit on metal stands, add depth to the disc, and make viewing from an angle really enjoyable. Despite being an entry-level movement, the Miyota 821D in the non-LE Devil Divers category looks decent. The lack of hacking and a slower stroke rate are what you'd probably get in a vintage diver, plus it helps keep the overall cost low. It offers manual winding and speed dating. The Bulova Devil Diver Oceanographer is a compelling alternative to similarly priced Seikos. The Bulova Breton Blush Dial is a testament to the brand's ability to blend classic design with contemporary aesthetics. Known for its commitment to quality craftsmanship and technological advancements, Bulova has become a respected name in the watch industry. The polished steel case is just 32mm wide, but that is actually totally fine for this case shape. More important is the lug-to-lug -lug distance, which is about 46mm. The case is also just 10.5mm thick, which is enough to keep the timepiece masculine looking, but it can still go under a sleeve. Water resistant to 30 meters, the dial is capped with a specially shaped sapphire crystal that has an excellent amount of AR coating on it. This watch and the rest of the Joseph Bulova benefits from have very little dial glare. The crown is a bit on the small side. As this is an automatic watch, you don't need to use the crown all that often, but it is not the most pleasant experience when you want to manually win the movement. The 96B331 has a sandblasted base dial with Arabic numerals applied in a painted style, meaning they are raised up a bit and painted in luminant. With the black-colored hands, the contrast is excellent, offering good legibility and attractive classic style. While not the typical type of watch your average timepiece collector might discuss over a beer, the Bulova Breton is a cool watch and one that surely feels like nothing else in your collection. Links to all the products mentioned are in the description below. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, I will see you guys later.